Evicting a tenant can seem like a complicated process, but in this video, we'll quickly explain the eviction laws in Alabama and outline some simple steps landlords can take to enforce them. In this video, we'll talk about what the eviction process looks like, laws that determine how evictions are handled in Alabama, and how to legally remove a tenant from a property. Be sure to watch to the end of this video to find a link to a fillable eviction notice that works in Alabama. First, what is an eviction? An eviction is the process of legally removing a tenant. In every state, it's illegal for a landlord to change locks on a property or physically remove a tenant from a property. If a tenant refuses to leave after violating the terms of a lease agreement, a landlord must seek an eviction from the court. It's worth noting that this is different from the simple termination of a lease. A landlord can opt not to renew a lease after the specified term has ended. There is no need to involve a court in this process. When a tenant in Alabama breaches the conditions of a lease, the landlord can issue what is known as a notice to quit. There are several options to choose from. If a tenant has failed to pay rent by the due date, a landlord can issue what's known as a seven day notice to quit. This gives the tenant seven business days to either pay the rent in full or to vacate the property. In some states, there's a grace period, meaning if rent isn't paid on time, tenants get a little leeway. This isn't the case in Alabama. Rent is due on the due date and an eviction can be served even if the rent is one day late. If a tenant has breached another condition of the lease agreement, one that is not related to paying rent, then a landlord can serve the tenant with a seven day notice to quit for non-compliance. This gives the tenant seven business days to fix the problem or otherwise vacate the property. If the tenant violates the lease in the same way twice within 12 months or engages in certain illegal activities, the situation is considered incurable. Acts the law considers incurable include the cultivation and sale of illegal drugs, the possession of an illegal firearm, and criminal assault. These are all grounds for immediate eviction. There's also another form called a 30-day notice to quit. This is used to inform a tenant who's on a month-to-month -month lease that the landlord intends to end the rental agreement within 30 days. This form is different than the previous two because it can be used whether or not the tenant is in violation of the lease agreement. So what are the steps a landlord can take to evict a non-compliant tenant? The first step is to download the appropriate notice to quit form from our website, fill it out and send it to the non-compliant tenant via certified mail. It's also a good idea to post this form to the tenant's door. If the breach is considered curable, wait until the time frame outlined in the notice to quit is over. If the tenant hasn't paid unpaid rent or fixed a specified problem within that period, then the eviction proceeding can begin. To begin the eviction proceeding, a landlord can file a statement of claim, known as Form C-59 with the nearest judicial court. Check out our website for a list of locations. The filing fee is $256 and an additional $10 for each tenant that has served the forms. A copy of the statement of claim must also be served on the tenant in breach. This should be delivered in person or by a sheriff or constable or by certified mail. After being served with the complaint, the tenant has seven days to file form PS01 or a response. The tenant has a right to contest the eviction on the grounds that the landlord didn't serve papers properly or that the landlord accepted payment after sending the notice to quit or that the landlord did something else that might void the eviction proceeding. Form PS01 is basically a request that the court denies the eviction. If the tenant doesn't respond, the court will set a hearing date. Both parties are expected to appear in court on that date. If the tenant doesn't appear for the hearing or if the judge rules in the landlord's favor, the tenant will have seven days to file an appeal or vacate the property. If at the end of those seven days, the tenant still refuses to vacate, the landlord can call the sheriff's department to remove the tenant and their possessions. Often the tenant's security deposit does not cover total court costs. If damages are not awarded at the hearing, landlords may be able to recover unpaid rent and court fees through a separate proceeding in small claims court. We've got everything you need to get eviction proceedings going in Alabama. Eviction notices, court documents, and more can be found at the link below. And don't forget to subscribe for more legal videos.